Hi guys, welcome to this new lecture where we are going to import files from Illustrator. Importing files from Illustrator is a common practice when you're doing motion graphics and it has various reasons I will show you. To import an Illustrator file, you just right click, go to import and you say file. We are going to import the Angry Birds file here. And we have several options. Import as footage. Footage, you know, it will come as a single image only. Or composition, retain layer sizes from Illustrator or a simple composition. I will choose the second one and I will click import. Now notice exactly what happened. A composition has been created. If I double click on this composition, I notice it is exactly like the Illustrator file I have created and it has all the layers I have created in Illustrator. In Illustrator, I created layers to group these small drawings together. Fine, I will show you that. Then there is a folder that has been created. Inside the folder, there are all the layers from Illustrator and they are gathered here with the name of the layer from Illustrator. It doesn't matter if you know Illustrator or you are good in Illustrator, you can just import this for the sake of the project. I also provided you another solution with images, PNGs that you can also import. It depends what you want to do. Now, what have I done in Illustrator to get layers? In Illustrator, take it as a habit. A layer in Illustrator will be converted to a layer in After Effects, and that is very important. A group in Illustrator will be converted as a shape group in After Effects if you transform your layer into shapes. We will see that later on in the course. What is important now? That every layer in Illustrator has been converted to a layer in After Effects and the layer here is well listed in the folder. This is extremely practical. I provided you with another solution where all these are converted into images in PNG. What you have to do? Create a folder here, call it birds, dash pngs okay png i will use Control i if you remember this is the shortcut to import because it will import in directly inside the folder and go to birds png and here you have all the images that we want to use in form of png you can select them all of course it's footage you don't have any other solution click import and all of them will be inserted inside the folder so notice what i have done i chose my folder press ctrl i i cannot right click it will give me other things i press ctrl i to get them here now of course there is no composition that has been created but what you can do is to double click on an image and it will open in the footage panel so this is the image and notice it has a uh, transparent background you can double click here and look at your images of course you can come and use them now as images and animate them they have their center now why are we using illustrator and not pngs it's because of quality and it's because of a resolution let me show you i'll create a dummy composition we call it compound and whatever we don't care i will take an image here of the white bird and drop it here let's make the background here black we will see it better here you are in two seconds and then i will go to the birds layer from illustrator and find the white guy here here it is i will drop it just under and we have the two of them cool i will select both of them open scale and scale them up please don't zoom in to look at quality you'll be looking at the quality of your monitor and your graphic card not the quality of the images in after effects you notice here this is the illustrator file here let's put the illustrator file on top and this is the image file cool i have zoomed to 365 percent i will select more and zoom up now notice the quality is almost the same png is almost equal in quality to the illustrator file that's not true there is a small switch here for composition it will collapse the transformations we'll see that later for vector layers and of course, Illustrator files are vector layers. It will continuously rasterize. Continuously rasterize meaning it will continuously read the outlines from Illustrator and convert them to pixels in After Effects because After Effects do not deal with outlines. 
if I click on it, notice now what happened. The quality has become 100% high quality, yet there is nothing I can do to the PNG image to get a better quality. Now, of course, this is happening because I scaled up. If I don't scale up or I scale down, you actually don't have any problem and both images do not have a difference of quality. Yet, in my opinion, it's much better to use AI files than PNGs when AI files are available. This is good when you are animating the Illustrator file and the PNG file, and you will get better resolution and you get better animation, you know, it will look good. But if they are still, then both of them are okay as long as you don't scale up. Now to continue our project, you can use the PNGs if you would like to. I will be using the Illustrator from here because actually it's exactly the same. I have a single transform here and I have a single transform here and there is no difference at all. In the next lecture, we start laying out our birds here and we will start animating. See you in the next lecture.